Good morning, it is not Friday, it is Wednesday and it is time for another vlog. Wednesday, you say? Well, I am in New Orleans and I thought that you should have the full experience of that. Founded in 1718 by the French, brought back by the Americans so they can control the Mississippi River. The home of the poker, Katrina, the place who first introduced voodoo to the Western world. So, since you were gone, what have I been doing? Well, well, first of all, we went to Willoughby Springs, which is kind of a founder of youth thing that they have up near the Florida Alabama border. It is also very gator infested. <laughs> to a gator farm and went on these air boats or river boats or whatever you call them which broke down when we were out there so we had to be rescued but uh, we saw a few gators so that's all What have I been doing? What have I been doing? I'm in the States. But I've been eating a lot of a lot of food. Oh yeah, I've been fucking riding. Yeah, watch this! Someday, baby, you ain't worry my life anymore. So, we're off to the riverboat in a minute, so see you there. I am on a ship. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I am on a riverboat going up the Mississippi right now. Here in the background is the guy telling us stuff all the time so we won't get bored. Which is nice. That's a nice little touch. is primarily most known for one thing and that is Katrina. The second thing is probably Mississippi and the third thing is the French Quarter. I was in the French Quarter last night but like an asshole I forgot my camera. So I filmed stuff with my iPhone. What you're gonna see now is some stuff from Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is a party street. That is Mardi Gras, that is spring break, that is everything combined to one. So let's see what happens. Came out from the islands and into the main city. 
it was actually here. They were uh, in Fusto. So if you walk around, especially Bourbon Street, you'll see a lot of Buddha stores, which is funny. And Luke, I'm talking to you because you would like them. Because you own and run Buddha Lounge. So. So far it's been a, quite a nice little trip. The guy is talking a lot about the shift in the harbor and uh, if something historic has gone on. It's a little about Katrina as well, that you can see the trees out here are in the water. That is actually from Katrina. The French Quarter was quite lucky because that is on a sandbank, so it didn't really get attacked that much, but the rest of Katrina is pretty much so, when the water came, it just stayed and it actually rose as much as six feet. And it, a lot of stuff is now built on uh, stilts and on poles uh, uh, because, in case of anything ever happens again. Because the thing is that New Orleans is actually six feet under sea level and they need to pump out water all the time so they can, so it, they don't flop. So that, that's how they do it. Talking about Bourbon Street, this is Bourbon Street. It is the main street in the French Quarter. The French Quarter is a big area, but Bourbon Street is where most of the stuff happens. There's a lot of bars, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of beats on the ground, there's a lot of everything. But it is also very smelly and a lot of hookers and other stuff like that. Right now we're looking for something to eat. We are very New Orleans, so I think that I think it's gonna be seafood. Hey, and we're just looking for the perfect place. We're not gonna eat on Bourbon Street because that is pretty much just bars and we ate here last night. It was just crap because it is pretty much just bars and grills. So we're gonna go get something to eat and uh, yeah. So we're back at the hotel because to get up at six tomorrow we have to leave at seven. So we wanted to we wanted to just relax a little. So what can you say about New Orleans? Well, it is the Big Easy. It's an awesome city. You have the French Quarter. You have French Quarter, which is a little dirty. It's a little piratey, and it is a lot of awesome. And you can go out. Of, you can go out of that, and then you can be in the middle of palm trees, big hotels, big stores, everything. I'm gonna go edit a little, and then we're gonna drive off tomorrow, and we're hitting Texas. So, see you later. So I will make a disclaimer for this next part. If you're not really into motorcycles, then just press along. Just press along a minute or so, and we'll probably be done. This is most of you. So, if you're still here, it's on your own damn. If you're still here, it's your own damn responsibility. Well, what I am driving is a Holly Street Glide, a newer one. And this is the one. It is a blue one with a double seat. A Holly 107 Milwaukee 8th motor. It's a new motor. It has standard pipes on which doesn't say a lot but it is a Harley so it says a little and what is special for this one is that it has this front end which means that it has fuel gauge miles per hour or rpm and a volt meter for the battery it also has two speakers and a radio which i can connect my iphone to and listen to stuff on my iPhone instead. And Jonathan, you know that I like that. So, oh. I'm gonna turn it on. It doesn't say a lot, but, well, let's hear it.
as you see, is just pretty much standard. Actually, the good thing is that those bags, those big bags that has a lot of space so you can put a lot of stuff in there and the back support is a little nice when you're driving those when you're driving those long ass miles trips that we are we are the longest one was 360 miles which is approximately 500 kilometers and uh, the one we drove to get here was 270 they said it was 280 that's just how it is uh, so let's go see you. Let's go see the next trip. I think it's up on the car. All the Harleys are rented from Eagle Rider, which you can see by right there. So the next trip is gonna be from New Orleans to Lake Charles. It's 247 miles. Let's see. Which is a long ass drive we're having tomorrow, but that's how it is. We need to get to LA, so it needs to be a little long. So I'm gonna get a Coke or two and I'm gonna go up to the room and then I'm gonna start editing. Good morning. Now this time it is actually Friday and we are in Lake Charles, which is kind of uh, on the border of Louisiana and Texas. We are crossing into Texas today. Nothing really a lot happening. It's just a small trip and a little boat ride. And last night I was messing around on YouTube and I found this girl singing Nothing Else Matters with Metallica. And I just thought that is goddamn pretty. I am going to put that in the vlog. So enjoy that while I try to make it pretty while you listen to it. See you later. And I'm sorry for that. It wasn't that pretty, but the song was pretty and I just wanted you to hear the song. So I have arrived in San Antonio in Texas and that is a nice and awesome city. They have like this river rock river inside the city where they in, below the city where there is restaurants, a ton of restaurants and some some stores, but it that's really 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 nice. Really good thing and of course they have the Alamo just been to the Alamo where there actually was a Danish guy who died there his name was Charles Sanbo not that Danish I actually think he maybe changed it for that 
So how is it so far driving a motorcycle in the United States? Well, after we got into Texas, it has been great because Texas is awesome. Just the whole vibe here is awesome. You kind of feel that you're gonna get shot a lot, but still it is really awesome. The scenery is awesome, the roads awesome, you can drive faster, which is nice. We have been let out on our own, which is also nice because when you're driving uh, 22 motorcycles as we do, we don't all drive equally as good and, and the guys in front of me have their wives on, so they don't really drive that fast and they make big gaps. So I have to kind of keep my eyes on them a lot. This is the end of the vlog. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Along on these vlogs, America edition. And uh, see you. Have a nice, nice weekend.